Hey everyone, welcome to Sims World, and today's episode has been an exhausting day already for these guys. Um, we joined the family probably about 3 a.m. Everybody's kind of been out looking for Michael, who's still missing. Um, we don't know where he is or what's going on with him. Um, but all we do know so far is that he went to work and he never pretty much came back home after that so we don't know what's going on all I do know is Iris and Emma have um, uh, Iris also has a little bit of a secret that happened with her she actually kissed uh, Princeton which is a kid from Noah's uh, little LGBT club that he has uh but, yeah. So, that's got to be an interesting thing when she has to tell Noah and them. I don't know if she's ready to tell Noah right now. I think she's more focused on everything that's going on with Michael, her child. Um, but if you guys are wondering, it is day 25 of 28 of winter, which means we are slowly in... In a sense, fastly reaching the end of winter, which means spring will be coming up very soon. But our current weather is heavy snow and freezing where we are in the Sims world. And today's forecast is snow. So, but let's check out our calendar here. Um, so, we don't really have anything planned for today and tomorrow in the Sims. Um, and then this Friday is Night on the Town, which is a Sims based holiday. So, I really don't know what you have to do. Oh, you get free food and drinks. I'm assuming anywhere. So maybe they'll have to, whoever I'm with at that time, will have to go out to Pirate Peach or something. Um, New Year's Eve um, is one I added in. And then the Super Bowl as well. So they're fastly approaching. And then our next birthday for this gang would be Nicole, who is going to age up to a teen. So that's interesting. But these guys have been up trying to get something, trying to learn a little bit of where possibly Michael could be. Anybody that might know whereabouts of Michael. Um, so Iris, I think she is going to go ahead and go online and see if she can post a little bit more information about what she remembers Michael was wearing. Um, how he looks and etc. Uh, um, trying to get a little bit more word out about where he could possibly be. Um, meanwhile, Noah is, and the rest of the kids are going to go to school as normal. Um, but they want things to try to stay as normal as possible. And Jonah and her are going to be out looking today for where Michael is, trying to find any sort of clues um, of where he could have been or where he is. Um, so, <coughs> uh, one thing is Michael, we could still see his uh, friends list, so maybe we could potentially look and see and kind of like contact any of the people that he might know um, and see I mean the only person here that the family really doesn't know is this Noel guy girl but because te Tetsu was their uh, nanny when they were younger so this Noel girl might be able to point us in the right direction um, Maybe it's worth a call to Tetsu as well. Maybe he can um, keep a lookout for him. But, uh... Who knows? Anyways, it's quickly approaching soon time for the kids to go to school, but they're kind of taking a little bit of last-minute naps before they head into school because it's been... A long, long night 
looking for their brother. Jonah is keeping Iris some company, trying to calm her down a little bit and eating at the same time. So she did post a little bit about what he looked like and etc. And then she's gonna see if anybody like got any uh, tips or whatever from her previous time that she posted. Jonah has decided he's going to take a little bit of a nap, which is fine. Iris is up doing the thing. So she's looking, and she does see that there's one comment on what she had stated, and it's from Noelle, who stated that, I know we never met, um, but I know who Michael is. I've seen Michael around, and we have talked, and we're good friends. Um... But I don't know where he is, but I have seen him recently. I've seen him uh, last night around the time he got off of work. He was walking down the road with a strange look on his face. That's all she states. So I don't know what that means. All I know is he was walking down the road and he had a strange look on his face, walking towards our house to head home. So she doesn't know what that means. She doesn't know. That really isn't giving her much of an answer of what could have happened. Um, but she did get a little bit of a hint that someone else seen him before when he was supposed to be walking home. So... Um, But the dog does need a little bit of a bath, so she's going to go ahead and just kind of relax a little bit and give Milo a little bit of a bath. That way she can kind of calm down just a little bit um, and relax for a little bit. And then while she's doing that, um, the kids are about ready to have to head to school. Um, but so they're all heading into school. And I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, we're back. I'm sorry about that. I had to take some medicine. But anyways, um, the kids are back from school now. And uh, I thought Iris, she would probably want to check up on her thing online. So Jonah's going to go ahead and call up the old nanny and see if he heard or seen anything um, regarding to Michael and uh, go from there so he's gonna call up um, well he's gonna first try to call Michael but Michael's not really gonna pick up the phone because we don't know what's going on um, so they're just trying anything to get any sort of uh, Thing for him. And Iris, on the other hand, she is going to go ahead and go and try and find and see if someone else posted anything regarding his whereabouts. Um...
Meanwhile, the kids, they can um, do their homework. But as for Jonah, he's on the phone with the old, or he was on the phone with uh, the old nanny, and he said, "Unfortunately, I haven't seen or heard of my, from Michael in quite some time. Um, but I'll definitely keep my eyes open. And I'm sorry about this. Uh, I'm sorry about right now. It's a hard time. Iris is looking um, at." for anything online and she does see that someone under the, an unknown thing put on her Twitter <coughs> she said that I just walked by a boy that fits that description with a young woman um, I don't know what her his or her name is but they're here in Salvadoria but that was probably about at least two to three hours ago. So they could be anywhere now, but... I mean, that is definitely a big hint because of the fact that we at least somewhat still sort of know where he could potentially be. Um, which means Iris and him are planning... Um, or Iris is planning on telling Jonah what she has learned now from this lady we don't even know who this lady is but she said that she walked by him and a young woman um recently probably about two hours ago and salvadoria so um that's an interesting thing as well but anyways let's go ahead and tell um jonah what we had learned so she's gonna go ahead and tell him what she learned now she's gonna say look I was online and I checked the thing and they this lady she said that I, I think I might have seen him in Salvadoria with a young woman I don't know who they are but, um, it was probably about two hours ago. How would you feel about going to Salvadoria? And he said, isn't that the place that rains all the time? <clears throat> and she said, well, we still have the money. We could definitely go over there and see if we can find him. But, so, in probably in the next episode, they'll be heading over to Salvadoria and trying to see if they can find or even get some more evidence about where he might be. Um, but who knows? All I do know is this. They definitely got a big hint today. But another huge thing that has to come out very soon is Iris kissing Princeton, which is... Definitely not okay. Princeton is 18. Um, he is not of age, and Iris is married woman. So, yeah. Anyways, so it is getting kind of late Sims time, so I think these guys are going to call it a day. But for now, they did get a huge set of news with where possibly no uh, Michael could be. So she's going to go ahead and head to bed. <coughs> All everybody's going to head to bed. And I'll be back once someone gets up. Okay, guys, so I did turn it back one, even though a lot of them are sleeping. Um, but I did get a phone call, or no, I got a phone call from Catherine. And she said that Emily did sadly pass away so these guys are a little bit upset about that but Emily obviously did pass away we were not there to see it which is obviously um, sad we won't be able to see her but in the Sims Paradise which will be happening tomorrow um, we can finally say um, goodbye to her, Emily which is very sad as well but anyways 
he's going to do a little bit of um, dancing because he has to do a little bit of dancing for his scouts. Um, but Nicole, is she's going to head to bed. So I'll be back once everybody, well, someone else gets up. Okay, so it's about 6 something a.m. Sims time. So these guys are all just about up besides Noah, who just got up now. <clears throat> but Iris is going to do a little bit of laundry and then she's going to grab something to eat because she's quite hungry. Jonah made some Italian meatballs, so. So they're just going to grab something to eat and then they leave on their trip to Salvadora, Bria, um, in a, a couple hours. So, um, they are going to tell Noah, since he's the oldest, that he can stay off of school. Um, pretty much take a vacation day from school because they're going to be gone for at least a day. Um, so, he's going to take a vacation day as well as his little sisters, um, and he's in charge. Plus, everything that happened with their grandma, I think it would be, um, quite fitting that they would take a day off of school. So these guys are just going to catch up a little bit on sleep and all that before they have to go over to Salvadoria in the next episode of Sims World they'll be heading over there. Um, but with that said guys, I think this one we're going to end it out. We know where potentially Michael is now, however we did lose a member to the family today in the Sims World and uh, not only that. We did get some other hints from people as well, um, and tell them some friends to help out along the way, like uh, their old nanny Tetsu, to help out look, keeping looking, which um, Jonah has been getting text messages from Tetsu stating that he has seen him in T Salvadoria as well with a young woman. So that's kind of two people now, so that's why they're heading over to Salvadoria. To see whom this woman is for one and two what's going on so with that said thank you guys for watching have a great day and i'll see you guys all tomorrow for sims paradise bye and also remember this week starting today is sims family fan choice so pretty much what that means is I see you guys, all, all my fans that are watching my videos as family or friends, and so I want you guys all to get your voice heard, and each day will be on a different series, like this one posting, it will be about Return of the Dog Pound, but you guys can get your voices heard, and more likely, it'll end up being a part of the series. So, have a great day, peace, and thank you guys for watching. Bye, and make sure you guys comment on, get your voice heard.